Fake Doc gets prison for deadly butt injections. You really let somebody like this, who looks like this, do something to you like this? I'm just saying, dog. Ladies. A woman dubbed the Toxic Tush Doctor will spend a decade behind bars for using super glue and fix a flat sealant to enlarge women's behinds, causing one patient to die. O'Neill Ron Morris, 36, who was transgender, was sentenced to 10 years Monday in Florida's Broward County Court after pleading guilty to manslaughter, injecting several women with a toxic mixture. This according to CBS Miami. Shatarka Shatarka Newby, 31, died after receiving as many as 10 injections from Morris between 2007 and 2010. She paid Morris as much as $2,000 for the daily procedures, the Sun Sentinel reported. This is going in your body, woman. Your body. You will pay somebody $200 to do a surgery on you? $200? That's not a pair of the best Jordans. That's not a pair of Yeezys. You allow someone to... Sur Look, I don't want to talk badly about the dead, and I really don't. Women, if you don't stop this BS, cut it out. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your mama gave you. Not what Norris Major. All right. There's no closure. There's no closure. Putting Morris in jail won't bring her back, said Newbie's aunt Juanita in court. Yeah, but it'll keep her ass from doing this to someone else's ass. Killing them. It's about more than just your baby. Though it is about your baby, but you get what I'm saying, sister. Lord have mercy. Morris, who is not a licensed doctor. Really, she's not a licensed doctor. I had no idea. Using super glue and cement sealant on people and, and, and putting it in people's bodies. For the record, these people did not know what substance this woman was using. I don't think, I don't think they knew. Lord, please tell me they didn't know. She previously served a jail in a year in prison on related charges. Uh, Morris, who is not a licensed doctor, combined silicone, mineral oil, fix the flat, seal it, cement, and super glue to give women shapely backsides. This woman just put a whole bunch of crap into a container, did this, and put it in a syringe and shot it in people's bodies. Several of her patients were in court for the last for the latest sentencing, saying they became sick after receiving the bogus injections, which they believe, which they believed were actually medical grade silicone. That's what I'm saying, folks. She told these folks, hey, I work at this place, I got this stuff, it works. And look at this person and look at that person. And they're alive and they're fine and they look great, don't they? And then those are new people. The old people walking around with bricks in their back pocket. You gave us your word that the products you were using were A1 products and come to find out they were not, said victim Keisha Jones. Maybe in the beginning, but greed really took over because you was pocketing the money from every victim. Talking about she was trying to help people. She wasn't trying to help people. She was trying to get paid. This woman should go to jail for a long, long period of time. Ten years Ten years is probably not enough for killing someone after misleading them about your product. Let me know what you think in the comment section about this person who killed these people or gravely wounded 
hurt these people. And I get it. There's a certain amount of responsibility need to be taken. If you can go to someone's house and let them put something in your body, knowing they're not a doctor, you don't see no certificate on the wall, man. But people prey on people. I'm Tim Black for TBTV. I'll see you on the next one. Jesus.